Hey, Collective. Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome back. So big shout out to the entire YouTube fam. Shout out to everyone that has donated to the channel. Everybody that is sending love and light, okay? We got message. All right, Collective. Let's see the number seven. Could it be significant? Wow, with child and then adjudication here. Wow, with marriage. Hold on. <laughs> With marriage, what is going on, guys? Collective, what y'all doing? Period. What's going on here? So first off, let me say this. Um, somebody could be could have some sort of court situation going on. But what I'm channeling here, Collective... I might need to go ahead and pull this tarot here, baby. Because this already getting juicy. We got the marriage card here. So what I'm channeling with this collective, wow, with courtship here, look. Marriage, courtship, main male here. So what I'm channeling collective, yeah, it's like, again, it's somebody, we got message. There's some sort of message collective some sort of communication that's going to come in. Somebody going to communicate some sort of information with you here about a child. Somebody could want children here. But see, this card, this is I'm going to use this card. This is like my God card here. Somebody making the ultimate call. It's like the divine God made the ultimate call already about this child um being created, being born into this world. We got marriage here. We have courtship. We have main male. Okay, so with this collective, it's like, again, there's a masculine energy who could come in and communicate something to you here. This person could want to date you. This person wants children here. God made the ultimate call already. What did I say about this child being born? And then we have wedding here with adjudication. We have official person here as well. So whoever this masculine energy is, this is someone of authority. Wow, look, yeah, we have a wealthy man here. This is someone I would think, um, I'm going to say of authority, like, hmm, the emperor energy is given. This person know what they want. Whatever this is, it's happening quick with the Eight of Wands and the Royal card. Something is closing out. A new cycle is coming in. But, baby, we finna clarify. We finna see what's going on. All right. Let's see. Why is the main male here with message? Wow. The Eight of Wands. Something is... Uh, some sort of communication is happening quick. Some sort of communication is happening quick, collective. There's a masculine energy here that wants to communicate something about a child. Why is child here with courtship? Yeah, this masculine energy could just know what they want. Like, what is going on? I wasn't expecting this collective. April 18th could be significant. September 4th. March 30. March 3rd. Why is courtship here with child? Why is courtship here with child? Wow, the Ace of Wands collective. Wait, what is going on? What is going on? Spirit being very clear this morning, guys. We got the Ace of Wands for courtship and child. There's a, a brand new beginning for somebody. So I don't know whoever this is for, but definitely um, I see a child being born. This is a passionate new beginning. Somebody going to communicate something to you about they, them wanting a child collective. Somebody that you're dating wants children. But I'm, I'm, but what I'm trying to, yeah, it want to split here. The Knight of Wands, this fire energy, I'm telling you. This person, whoever it is, they are very, very attracted to you with the sun card here. 
um you make this person very happy collective like you put a smile on their face they like what they see why is marriage here with judication now that one just flew out it didn't even give me time why is marriage here with judication Let's see, why is marriage here with adjudication? We got the seven of swords. Wow, with the empress here. Somebody is being strategic. Somebody is being very, very strategic when it comes to um, this connection or making a... a a commitment with you. Let's clarify the seven of swords here. Wow, with the hierophants, cannot make it up. With the hierophant here, somebody's being very strategic. Somebody's being spiritually led here. Possibly on how to come in. With the Three of Cups. Wow, with the Ten of Pentacles here collective. Let me clarify the Three of Cups really quick. Why is the Three of Cups here? Because I'm also channeling something else collective. The King of Cups here. Hold on. So it can always be two scenarios, collective. Yeah. So what I'm channeling, um, collective as well. So for somebody, you still in a relationship. You could still be in a marriage here, and you need to get a divorce here so you can have this new beginning here. Again, we had the seven of swords here. Again, it was some could have been some sort of falling out of disagreement in the past. Um, that you had with this person or something went down and it's like God stepped in. God had to intervene here with the Hierophant. There could have been a third party situation that you've been in collective. And it's like um, you, this this cycle is closing out here with you and this person. Okay, you do have this uh, a passionate new beginning coming here. But for somebody, um, you might need to still get out of a legal situation here. Okay. I'm also channeling, though, collective. What did I say? For somebody, there is this passionate new beginning here. There's some sort of communication that's coming in quick here from this masculine energy, from this main male, okay? And this person wants a, a fresh start with you. This person wants a brand new beginning with you. They, this person wants to date you. This person wants children. This person wants a committed relationship. This person ultimately wants marriage here. This masculine energy is in this King of Cups energy here, okay? So it's like they're in a point in their life where they're thinking long-term. You know, this person wants children here. Again, this King of Cups energy. We got child here. This masculine energy definitely wants children here. So this person, whoever he is, they're being very strategic with the seven of swords. They are being very, very strategic here. It's a, and with the hierophant, again, it's like they're being divinely led. This person is definitely being divinely led. This person want to come in and celebrate something with you. I see some sort of celebration between you and this person. Again, the real card, a cycle is definitely um, one is closing out. A new one is coming in here. Remember, we, we just entered Leo season. We just entered Leo season. This is dope here. So, I mean, you take what resonate, leave what don't. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Why is the Ace of Wands here? The Six of Cups. Yeah, you're getting a new beginning. See, the past with the Six of Cups here, 
We got the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. A past, the, in a past relationship, you felt burdened, collective. You felt like you had um, a lot on your plate, a lot of responsibilities. For a lot of the women, you could have been having to be the sole provider or you could have been taking care of a, of a man. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. You know, to each, um, to each its own, you feel me? But at the same time, whatever... Um, these burdens were that you had in the past, you're no longer going to have them with the Ace of Wands here. This is a new connection. This is a new connection. You could also have had a past life uh, connect, uh, been in a past life relationship with this person here. Watch the Six of Cups here. With the Four of Cups. Wow, with the two of cups at the bottom of the deck here, collective. For somebody, you don't see this coming. You don't see this coming for somebody. Why? Because you're too busy looking down at the other three things to see if something right in your face here. And for some of you, yeah, it's like, remember, we clarifying the six of cups. For some of you, you want nothing to do with your past. You want nothing to do with your past, period. You're literally, you're you're wanting this uh, new beginning as well, collective. Again, the past wasn't so pretty. Yeah, we got the Ten of Cups here. You're about to get your wish fulfillment. Every cup running over. I see some sort of traveling here. Or you're at a distance from this person with the Two of Wands here. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Whoever this energy is, they are very, very strategic. Very. Let me see that one flip over. Wow, the Two of Cups flip right over. Theirs is a commitment coming, collective, period. We're clarifying the Eight of Wands here. This is coming in quick. There's a, a masculine energy uh, you need to be expecting a phone call, a pop-up visit collective, something, something. There's a masculine energy um, that wants to definitely express that he wants children here collective. Wow. For some of you divine feminine, yeah, listen, we got the empress, baby. We know that's this fertility right here. We got the empress, baby. They're going to be, um, so what month is this? Let me predict something really quick. We're in the month of um, August. Let's see. So let's see, um, August, September, October, November, December. So we have four more months until the end of the year, okay? So somebody will be pregnant. There are going to be several divine feminines pregnant by December, before December, somebody's going to be pregnant. It was just 13-13 on the phone. Some some of y'all could be pregnant with twins. <clears throat> some of y'all, yeah, going to be pregnant with... Wow, and look where it split. Cannot make this up. These fell on the floor while this stayed in my hand. The Queen of Pentacles. Remember, we had the Empress, and then look, the King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles, wow. With the High Priestess, Wow. Wow, I'm telling you, this masculine energy, they're financially stable here. They're very financially stable here. This is dope. But again, let me finish my prediction. Yeah, so by, by December, there are going to be several divine feminines pregnant. So by this time next year, there are going to be births. You're going to be having children for some of you. Yeah, with the Ten of Cups here, I'm telling you, like a year from now, next year, this time, this is going to be you collective in this committed relationship. Happy family, happy wife, happy life is what I'm hearing. Somebody's going to make you a very happy wife, divine feminine. And if you are a divine masculine, there is there is a divine feminine that's going to um, be a great wife to you, be a great mother to your children. This is dope, Collective. This is dope. Wow. I can't believe this, these cards came out. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, we got the hangman here. 
with the empress at the bottom of the deck. Why is the hangman here? And I'm not even done. I wanted to clarify. Um, I wanted to clarify the two of cups. Yeah, whoever this masculine energy is, this person possibly been watching you collective. But this person has been enlightened here. This person got some sort of clarity here. This person is no longer stuck. They were stuck in the past or could have, um, you know, there could have been a decision that this person needed to make. But they're coming in to make you this offer with the Knight of Cups here. Let's see, why is the Two of Cups here? The Queen of Pentacles. Remember, we saw the King of Pentacles. What did I say? This person was very financially stable here. So, yeah, you're. this is the divine counterpart here, Collective. Yeah, with the Ace of Cups. You're this person's divine counterpart. I also see some sort of, um, could be a business opportunity, some sort of financial opportunity that comes through this person as well. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? We got the Ten of Swords. Again, yeah, um, things ended for you in the past, Collective. But again, there's this new beginning. I'm also, something about your finances is turning around here with, with the um, Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords here. Something about your finances is about to change. You could have had hardships in the past, but this is definitely about to change here. Why is official person here? Why is official person here? We have the four of swords. See, we have this here. It's just at the top of the, at the bottom of the deck, excuse me, but it's flipped up. So I'm just going to tap into this really quick. Okay, the four of swords with the ace of swords here. So somebody got some sort of clarity. Somebody got some sort of clarity, some sort of truth here. Yeah, everything is fine. A lot of sore energy. With the three of wands. Yeah, somebody got some sort of clarity. The, uh, it could be this masculine energy here got some clarity collective. This person is definitely coming in here. The decision has been made already. Yeah, look, I'm shuffling and look how the cards are going in here. The world card, excuse me, the will of fortune with the knight of cups here. So I don't know who this message is for, but divine feminine, baby. Somebody is, whew, I'm definitely feeling a lot of fire energy, sexual energy, guys. <laughs> I don't know what is going on. I cannot believe I channeled this message today, guys. I cannot. I just, I'm not even going to say that. Let me see how we're going to close this reading out. I was going to close it out with that deck, but I'm being led to. Let me close it out with this one. <clears throat> All right, let's see. How do you want to close out this reading for the collective? Wow, this is dope. How do you want to close out this reading for co the collective? And actually, I'm going to close it out like this. Let me... um. Sit them right there. All right, let's close out this reading for the collective, baby. What is this message with main male? Message with main male. January 7th or July 1st collective could be significant here. You could be born on the 1st or the 7th. We have the situation will improve here. Wow, with perfect timing at the bottom of the deck here. So, collective, for some of you, this is somebody that you met already. 
period you met this person already spirit is saying the situation will improve so i'm not getting that the situation is bad but it may be little to no communication with you guys you could have just met this person here um but it's gonna improve the perfect timing again god's timing what did i say something is being strategically done this masculine energy is being led by the divine okay so again the situation is going to improve here period yeah there is some sort of communication that's coming in this communication that come in is going to change things it's going to improve this uh romantic connection here it's going to make things better but it's, it's all happening in the perfect timing what is this courtship and child wow collective you is not gonna believe what came out look within the next few weeks hold on collective because listen dang i gotta take it off because my battery it says my battery is going oh wait there it go can y'all believe that within the next few weeks what did i tell y'all and then we got look for a sign so it's, it's a sign you already got some sort of sign collective cannot make this shit up within the next few weeks collective so somebody getting pregnant within the next few weeks period this conversation could take place within the next few weeks but i see uh somebody conceiving within the next few weeks here period this is crazy i cannot believe this came out because <laughs> what did i tell y'all i said by december somebody getting pregnant we got within the next few weeks spirit said wow this could be a divine child here all right let's get the last card what is this marriage and adjudication here if you believe if you believe collective so for some of you collective again this could be somebody that you have what did i say that you've met already right and it's like for whatever reason things may not be going the way that you want them to go i'm hearing let go of control issues here let this situation unfold naturally collective but again, it's like, do you you just need to believe it's gonna happen. You know, you gotta have faith. And when you have faith, you know, you don't go by what your eyes seeing. You you can't go by what you see and what you feeling. You have to have faith and just know collective that this is what it is, period. You have to have faith and just know that. But this is dope. This is beautiful. Congratulations to yeah, and we have communicate clearly. What did I say? It's, it's some sort of communication that's coming in here, collective, period. Within the next few weeks, some communication coming in. Somebody's getting knocked the fuck up, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry for cussing, y'all. I just had to say it like that, okay? So, I hope this message resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up, guys. Um, Thank you guys so much for the love, the support that you guys are showering me with thank you thank you thank you if you would like to donate or book a personal reading the information is in the description below thank you guys so much for watching